what's going on? Uh, I am doing a uh, an unboxing today of the Dracasta Silk Ray 400 bicolor. Uh, another deal of the week from BNH that I uh, recently purchased. Uh, I've had it for about a week now, and I haven't even opened it yet. So I've just been so busy with projects on the side. But uh, I figured I'd do this video because uh, you know sometimes when you uh, tend to purchase things online, you want to look for more information. I try to look for a video on YouTube on this and to see uh kind of get a look and feel for the product i only saw one person i think that did a video on it so hopefully whoever's trying to uh, you know do some research on this uh, can give you an insight if you are looking to purchase this light uh so far i've been buying a couple of uh dracast lights uh, and i've been uh, quite happy with them so this is another light that i saw in the deal zone i bought it for an impulse and uh you know, I feel like this light might be a good additive uh, tool for my uh, toolkits in, in the, my light uh, sets that I have. So uh, let's give it a crack and uh, open it up and see how it is. Uh, again, uh, b &H, uh, had an offer uh, of this light, uh, including the yoke. Uh, in addition to that, they provided, I believe, the stand. So I'm going to unbox that too. So, and uh, the shipping usually took about, about a week. And uh, relatively quick. And uh, I've been happy with a lot of the deals that the BNH is coming out with. So once in a while, you know, I'll find myself doing impulse buying. But uh, majority of times, I end up using these uh, light fixtures. So quite cool. Off the box, uh, looks like it's pretty well packed in here. And the shipping package. All right. The deal itself, when I purchased it, was for uh, 99 bucks, 99 dollars and 95 cents. Not bad at all for an uh, LED uh, circular panel by color. Um, that is a relatively good deal. So worth. Uh, the look at the time so let's see if the light is worth the price which so far I've been like I said I've been buying b and products and uh, been happy so far uh, with a lot of the purchase I've been doing okay unboxing it comes in this uh, cool case they have as usual branded their logos and their color scheme all right, some instruction manuals there. I'll put that on the side for now. Uh, let's put this case down here. It comes in this foam packaging just to protect the soft side of the light unit. Wow, the weight is relatively good. Yeah. As far as the built, let's get a feel for it. I mean, it feels really well built on the unit itself for 99 bucks. LED bicolor, I would say that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, uh, yoke, pretty sturdy. It's got a good uh, knob to it as far as tightening it up. Yeah, um, I kind of had intention of using this light as pseudo space light for a lot of the projects I do. Um, really cool, I mean, like you can do a lot of things with this. And uh, with the diffused uh, front side of it, I mean, this should be a relatively good beauty light in, in certain things that you can use it for. Um, definitely, uh, so far, the build quality looks good. And power, support, power cables. And that's uh, pretty much it, what's in the box. Okay, let's, uh, let's test this bad boy out. Okay, as far as battery, uh, you can use, what do they suggest using a battery? I believe uh, off the bat, if I can remember, it's the NPF990. So it's an additional purchase I might have to look into. But let's fire it up. Let's check it out. Here we go. So, 
currently is on 3200 Kelvin. Okay, adjusting it to 5600 Kelvin. Very neat. It's got a great soft source to it. Uh, you know, as far as foot candles, uh, you know, I'm looking at about five, seven feet out. I can still see the light landing on that area. So pretty neat. I mean, for about three feet, you know, or so, it'd probably be a good useful tool, you know, something like that, as long as it doesn't show in the camera. Like I said, I might be end up using this for a mini space light for smaller projects or something like that, or perhaps some product photography, some tabletops. Uh, projects but uh let me see oh I'm sorry actually I didn't even adjust the intensity on it so now at 100 strength absolutely I mean the foot candle on it looking at right now I'm about five seven feet I still see the light splashing in that side so pretty good throw on it pretty good throw uh so far I would say I'm very happy with the price value of this and quality output it's it's got a good, nice, good white light to it for 5600 Kelvin, 3200 Kelvin. Get that nice orange look. So, just gonna add different textures. Really neat. Yeah, be a nice uh, addition to the other tools that I have for LED. So, really quite happy with this product, uh, especially the prof. Uh, profile of the circular be a, a neat uh, tool I mean some people like uh, panels that are square you know it's, it's it's good to have square panels well it's uh, nice that you have the circular uh, panel you know I might I might want to kind of custom make my own uh, type of a uh, you know a wide snoot per se or some crate so just kind of cut and make sure uh, cut the light in certain ways and uh, yeah uh, I would say if you're looking to purchase this, uh, pretty good deal. Everything looks and feels pretty solid for the build quality. Let me check out the stand that they provided us. Unzip. Stand feels pretty sturdy. Compared to other light stands, this looks pretty good actually. Knobs have a good tight no uh, knobbing to it. Uh, really can really tighten them up, but you know, eventually wear and tear. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty decent for a free item that came with it. So very happy with that. You know, just goes to another addition to all the, the light uh, the stands that I have. But I'd say it's uh, a plus offering that. To, package with that deal okay let's mount this on top you know when you're on set uh, you pretty much uh, try to work as fast as possible and I would say this light with uh, being the profile it is it's pretty quick to set up so you know you can rig it in so many ways because it's so light you can rig it overhead you can rig it on a C stand, you know, get it closer to talent. So, I'm gonna have fun with this light. Um, you know, there's a ways to definitely use this for a different application. So, be uh, looking forward to seeing on uh, on set or some photo shoots that I'm doing. So, if you see something, you want to see some of my work, uh, go check out my uh, Instagram page, uh, Rusa Mutuk. Or if you want to see some of my uh, behind the scenes, production work, commercials, music videos, whatnot, go check out uh, Focal Finder. All right. I hope this has been somewhat beneficial to your uh, research uh, into looking to purchasing the Dracasta Silk Ray 400 bike color. Um, I would say for 99 bucks, I'm very happy with it. Can't complain. You know, there's very... Uh, uh, there's several options out there, you know, they're more expensive, but for the price point, for 100 bucks for this, can't beat that. So, so thanks B&H, thanks uh, Dracast for coming out with some pretty cool uh, uh, units for affordable prices out there. And uh, looking forward to using it on set. See you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. <music>